He was mentally unstable and mentally ill. That's the only explanation that I could give, and he was obviously disturbed. It was, I was wake, woken up by my parents calling me, saying, Satora, wake up, Satora, wake up. And I thought something horrible happened. I'm like, oh my god, what happened? I called them, and the first thing that they told me was, your ex-husband was involved in a mass shooting, and, you know, reporters are at our house and calling us, and they will be probably at your house too. So I was devastated, shocked started shaking and crying because more than anything I was so so deeply hurt and heartbroken for the people that lost their loved ones and the families that are now suffering the people that are being that are wounded that, that are healing and it's everything that I stand for to not have that to for humanity to be in harmony for people to not have to go through that and to be in some way affiliated at one point in my life, somebody that caused such a tragedy was, it shook me. Was the, was the divorce with him difficult? Yeah. I actually, my family literally rescued me. Um, the night that they were there, they had to pull me out of his arms. And um, by an emergency flight, I left all my belongings. We made a police report. And, you know, because we were at a distance, I was in Jersey and he was in Florida, the divorce took a year and a half to finalize because we were doing it from a distance. Did you ever um, see him support terrorism in any way? Not while I was with him. No. Okay. His family lives. Okay. And the report was.